Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, during a beautiful day, and we got a beautiful one tomorrow, but it's going to be about 5 to 10 degrees cooler. Is another shot of colder air is working into the area, and eventually we're going to deal with some clouds and some decent chances for rain, especially Friday and then again on Sunday. But today was a beauty. Highs generally 65 to 70. We hit 68 in Evansville, 70 in Henderson, and 70 in Owensboro. And that's the first time our high temperature has been above normal in nearly two weeks. And we're 23 days into the month, and this is only the second day that has been normal. Of course, October is normally one of the nicest times of the year. Saturday, we were four degrees below average. Today was the closest we've gotten to the average at just three below what is normal for this time of the year. And unfortunately, these squares will likely go blue for the rest of the week as this cooler than normal pattern is going to kick into gear once again. This evening, our network of Doppler radars is showing some false returns around the radar sites here. We're fine until Thursday night. That's when our next chance of rain will begin to work into the area. But it is going to be a chilly overnight. Live view from downtown Owensboro, our King Sky came off the top of the Hampton Inn. And this is a view off the top of Fifth Third Bank in downtown Evansville, looking down on the riverfront with the temperature now tumbling into the 40s. We are now down to 48 degrees. Winds are coming in from the north at about six miles per hour. As we check temperatures around the tri-state, uh, generally 45 to 50. It's a little colder up in Vincennes and Fairfield. Even Carmi's down to 41. Beaver Dam's at an even 50. And Owensboro a bit warmer at 52. We'll wind up in the upper 30s overnight with some scattered frost. There won't be any more frost advisories because of the widespread frost we had over the weekend, or even freeze warnings for that matter. But if you got some mums or some plants you want to help along for another week or two, uh, some scattered frost is possible for the overnight hours. Watching uh, Hurricane Willa making or about to make landfall here on the west coast of Mexico as a strong Category 3 hurricane. It's going to weaken across Mexico tomorrow, then emerge into the Gulf of Mexico as just a plain old area of low pressure that's going to throw some rain our way Thursday night and Friday. And then it's going to turn to a nor'easter as it moves up the east coast. So Willa, the remnants of it, will be causing some issues for parts of the U.S., including us here in the tri-state. But we have one more beautiful day on the way. Updated future tracker keeps us mostly sunny for tomorrow. Highs will be cooler, upper 50s to around 60. Tomorrow, the clouds begin to move in. Still chilly, upper 30s by daybreak on Thursday. But with those clouds really thickening up early in the day, it is going to be a chilly day with highs only in the low to mid 50s on Thursday afternoon, which will be dry. But as we head into Thursday night, the scattered rain will begin to come up from the south. Future tracker a little slower, holds everything off until after midnight. Other guidance brings it in during the evening hours on Thursday. But Friday morning, it looks like increasing amounts of rain through the area. And that's going to be a chilly rain, highs only in the low 50s. But during the afternoon, the rain should begin to pull away to the east, hopefully in time for the kickoff of home team Friday so that most of the football games will be at least somewhat dry. And if we do see any rain, it should be just spotty and pretty light. You can see at 7 p.m., a little spotty light rain and drizzle there along Highway 41 in the Wabash River, but hopefully that'll be it for the games of this week. But clear skies overnight, chilly, some scattered frost, upper 30s, mostly sunny and cooler tomorrow, upper 50s to around 60 degrees. Then the clouds thicken up on Thursday at chilly 56. Uh, scattered rain Friday diminishing late in the day at chilly 53. Saturday looking like the nicer of the two weekend days with some clearing, a cool 59. Then the clouds increase on Sunday with more scattered showers developing. Keeps us on the cool side with a high of 59, and that rain should be ending sometime on Monday. And of course, earlier.